Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Get that piece put up. How is it going? This is episode number seven of Diablo Dailies. Episode numero seis plus uno of Diablo Dailies. We are going World Record Wednesdays. World Record Wednesdays. Still rocking the C920? I am. Oh, it's a little bit. We got a little bit of. Uh, uh, too much going on with it here. One second. Let me let me do some messing with it. Man, why is it so so crazy today? Let's go. Ta-da! Shirt's fixed. That was easy enough. That was easy enough. Yeah, I got you guys. It's Sace plus Uno. Killing it! No, oh, you are Pope. How you guys doing? How you guys doing today? World Record Wednesdays are great days. They're exciting to me because I get to almost learn some things during it. Um, I, I get to see into the minds of uh, somebody, I guess. That's that's the cool thing to me, right? I get to see into the mind of another runner and, and see everything that they're doing and see if it matches my mind exactly or or if it's slightly different. So, I don't know. I think it's cool. Um, how would your guys' day go today? How are you guys doing? Uh, anybody got poison facets yet? Let's remember. Let's remember. We got some poison facet stuff. Magic my Monday. Bam! I know this is a weird challenge. Some people are like, oh, I was hoping to do recording for a magic find. We'll have more of those coming up. Okay, I promise. This isn't the, it's not all going to be collect the most of an item, whatever, right? But let's, uh, let's, you know, let's do this, right? I just want to try this one out. We're just going to have fun. We'll have other ones that are finding things. So don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay? Good? Gucci? Bueno. Perfect. Or there's that Gucci word again. So, anyways, we're going to roll on in because I collect the most Annie's. That's right. I want to really get on this because I, like I said, I love, love, love um, the, the uh, view that we get to see here. Right? I love getting to watch somebody play. Very, very cool to me. So, I want to get in on this puppy. So, with that being said, bueno. That's right. Let's do it. When is Fun Day Sunday Poison Dagger? Oh, well, that's not a thing. Um, I am thinking about bringing racing in, though. Because we did our, po or our Necromancer race challenge. We did that on uh, the other day. Whatever it was. That last Saturday. And and I actually had a lot of fun casting it. I won't lie. Like playing in it was okay. It's kind of salty from it. Um, but casting it was a blast. I really enjoyed getting to watch other people run. I was really impressed with all of the, the quality of the runners. Uh, so I, I, I almost want to set up like a racing Sunday or, a, you know, whatever it is. Um... I, I, I almost want to set up some racing and and get get a casting going together or whatever and, and just do that and have it be a little better on my screen, right? Ever play with Ryu or do you hate it? Well, we both play single player, so I race them sometimes. Um, you know, so I kind of want to do that, honestly. I kind of want to do that. I think that'd be pretty fun. I think that'd be pretty fun to do. I don't know. That's... That's uh, in the mind bank right now. In the mind bank. Lots of ideas. Lots of things that we're, we're going through. No, I don't hate Ryan at all. I love the guy. Okay. So, let us begin. Woo! Let us begin as we move into Act 2 here. Let me actually do this. Kill that music. Do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Necker Race Mondays, Tuesdays, Necker Race Wednesdays, and don't forget to show up for Necker Race Thursdays. Also on Fridays, we're racing with Necromancers. That's right. Um, in the Bnet Challenge, you can do it on any server, Tio. Any server. Yeah, this is the current <sighs> world record. Thank you, Sky High. Shabadaloo, shabadaloo, shabadaloo. Seven second latency. Ah, oh, it's at seven seconds. It's kind of annoying. I want to get down that too. I don't have the the low latency yet. I want to get down to two seconds or whatever the most people have. Thank you again, Sky High, for the T two. Wow, Mwah. three months in a row. Okay. Let us begin as we start Act 2. This is Slimo. As after he's done his basic shopping, we went over that in our Act 1 video. Let us begin and look at Act 2. Okay? So I'm going to focus in on this right here. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. So first thing that he's doing, of course, is setting up his hotkeys. I believe he might even set them wrong. No, that's a different video. I haven't seen this one. That's right. Um, first thing that he's going to be checking is he's looking for up here. This right here, you want to see if you have this immediate exit in, in your act two. I miss it sometimes because I run out, there's like a boss group and I'm like, ooh, boss group. And then I run off to the right or left because I don't think that that's an exit. You got to kind of check this initial wall, right? So you're checking for that. And of course, there you go. You can see it doesn't have it. Now we're looking for boss group or beetles and we have boss group and beetles. Double champion, kind of disappointing. If it was just these two with this ghostly especially i probably wouldn't come over here to kill them um but you know go over there pop some novas down whatever that works so continue moving is he 13 and change right now or 12 and change i can't remember i would he has to be 13 based on his um nobody goes to nova at level one yeah that's a level two nova it's only taking three shots. Okay. So you want to kill beetles. Beetles in big packs. Beetles you have to stop for? Note, he's not going to stop for these guys. He's going to keep moving forward. Like I said, I haven't seen this video. He's going to keep moving forward and not shock these guys. One is because it's not worth it to stop and hit every single monster, especially these guys who aren't saber cats, who aren't worth as much experience. But beyond that, they will follow you sometimes. Like one of them went off that way, but there's two that are kind of following now. So if you run forward and get in a nice group of stuff, sometimes these monsters will continue in and then you'll get a big group of monsters that you, you can go ham on, okay? Newbie two, it is world record run state. Did it not update on my dashboard? I thought it did. Should have. So we're killing there, and once again, we're just checking corners, checking corners, and we find it in this corner. So something really important to note, and I wish that he had the big map overlay so you could see it a little better, but here it went up, over, up, out over that, right? It's always in a corner where it goes, hey, Papa, into that corner, um, right? Like this is an indent out to the right. That's what I'm trying to say. You're up and then you're indenting out to the right. If it starts cutting back like this and then going up and we're so deep in this map, because the map is a giant square. You need to remember that. Even though it has indents and all of these things, the map is a giant square. So if you're so far and it's coming back and this was a wall right here, going up, you know that's not going to be leading you there because it would have to go up cut back again, go up again, and over, and the map can only be so long. Okay. Yes, I will, Young. I'm going to do the remaining two next week. So, at this point, whatever, we're getting out of here. You never want to stay in the Rocky Waste longer than you have to. We we haven't set any strategy for that. Yes, there's beetles, but they're lo slightly lower level beetles than you'll find in, like, the Far Oasis. That tomb in there, I've thought about farming it. Um... You know, it's it, it's tough. It's tough. But it just it just doesn't really seem like it makes a ton of sense unless you somehow came over here really early and then went to go farm that tomb. But I always think it's still worth it to just go farm further. Um, Overlay says Tuesday. Oh! I always forget to change that one. I always forget to change that one. Let me change that really fast. Every, every time, man. I need to I need to get better about that or just change it so it's not there <laughs> or something. 
<laughs> that might make it easier. Uh, go down that and right there. Diablo Daily's World Record Wednesday dash any percent normal source act two. And move that into position. Perfect. Save. Llama learnings. PNG. Save. Yes. Okay. Flatten. Bam! Killing it. Killing it. Make a pre stream checklist. I probably should. So, let's back up a few seconds. We're entering the dry hills. Now, the first thing you want to do is identify what corner you're in, right? When I'm here, I want to say, am I in the corner where this is my exit or this is my wall or this is my wall? Because remember, remember, um, these maps are corn. These maps are squares, right? You have to remember that these maps are squares and exits are always in a corner. So here... Exits and entrances, both of them are always in a corner. So here I'm coming through, I'm seeing here, and I'm saying which corner am I in so I know which way to go, right? So immediately I'm going here, there's some monsters. I might Nova this. You have a pretty good, I'd probably come to right here and drop some Novas. And there you go. Okay, he does Nova. And he could have come a little bit down and gotten another four dudes in that Nova. Just a small thing. Going up, at this point, we're decently sure there's a waypoint right here because you can see the light from the torch. And at this point, yeah, we know that we have a waypoint because this torch isn't next to some like, sometimes there's torches next to some like stones and stuff. But whenever you see lights, you always want to run towards the light. Except in some cases, but in those cases, always run towards the light. So he's going to do a quick check for a shrine. Um, I don't know if I like that check for the shrine, honestly. Because he's going to be just going through the dry hills, I almost prefer this 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 check when you're going to the far oasis and when you're sure about that. So now we've identified, okay, we're in this bottom right-hand corner. And honestly, going up and towards stairs is going to be the best, the best way. He's checking to save it for far oasis. He, that's possibly true. If he found it, he might have just saved it. Uh, if not, he can save quit on it. So that is that is true, BDD. It's the same as just resetting and then checking right there. Um, so, so like I say, at this point, going up would have actually been a slightly better way to handle this. The reason is because if you go up, you have you're looking for the stairs, and the stairs are going to spawn in three positions: one, two, or three. Okay, your, spares, your stairs are always going to spawn in three positions when you have this map right here. One there, two there, three there. You have two exit potentials up top, one exit potential down bottom. That's just how maps can work, right? You have two on the bottom and one was the dry hills. So you have one more over there and you have two up top. So it's better odds to go up here and go to the top and look at those. Additionally, if the stairs are all the way over here, you're running all the way around to get to those stairs. That's going to be a lot longer than up and over, and you're going to see every stair in that case. So it's faster to go up this way than it is to take this long path around um, that he's taking. So he's going to go check right here, but he has a 33% chance down here and a 66% chance up there. So you're just looking to be lucky, and he's not lucky, and you can see that that was a minor time loss, right? I don't know why I picked the crossbow up. That was uh, unnecessary. You're probably trying to pick up that gold and accidentally grab the crossbow. So now he's having to run backwards. And you can see this is actually an error, right, on Slimo's part for this run. Not every run is perfect. Every run has little things like this. I've done this thousands of times. It happens. But you can see he came all the way in and is now doing this long circle as opposed to up over. Okay, and so he's coming all the way back. He's still holding the crossbow. And it looks like he got an okay uh, stair spawn at least for it. Good chance for Nova there. But still a longer path than what you would take if you just went up and over. So now you say, which way do I go? You're going to go straight up here because this is closer, right? You always want to be checking for the closest exit 
that you can when you're coming up these stairs. So you want to be going to this top left. There you go. He's going to do that. He's also looking at that wall to see uh, some indication, right? Because if that wall looks like it does, that is going to be a decent indicator based on where this wall would be that this has to have enough room right over here to be the, to be the way. Like it, there wasn't enough room for this wall to be here and this wall to be here and this not to be the exit basically. Because once again, the exits in act two are going to be on flat walls. If it goes over up back in and up, that's where it can't be. So he's checking there and then when he gets over and sees that this wall's right here, he knows that the exit is gonna be like this because this isn't extending out. Okay, so we're gonna go into the far oasis. We're gonna drop a TP right here, right? And I guess he's gonna check that shrine real fast just to see if he has an experienced shrine. But drop a TP, maybe, no. Interesting. Once again, a slight thing that I disagree with. I think dropping that TP there um, is going to be your best bet and even a little bit earlier because he still has a lot of space to explore up here and his waypoint was all the way down here. So if he does not find, or if he finds this like far away as this waypoint, he's going all the way back there. Unless he dropped a TP at the stairs. I, didn't, I don't feel like I saw him drop a TP, but he might have dropped one at the stairs. We'll see. We'll see uh, as the run goes on. I didn't exactly see that. Beetles are fantastic. Be very careful with lightning or with conviction beetles. He didn't drop it. Okay. Be very careful with conviction beetles. That is that is painful. Um, that's a great group to have right there. If I had a waypoint right next to that, I might farm that area. So I'm just going to continue this path. And once again, it looks like we are doing the same thing. And this, this time he's got this... Uh, Sort of path here. Okay, he's, no, he's going up to stairs. That's it. So it's not one of the triples. Sometimes you get the like three and one. Um, so there's some stairs, and we'll probably see him go up the stairs. Yeah, because once again, stairs. You you always want to go to stairs. Stairs are better odds for you. So he's gonna check up here, do some minor novas. Whenever you have like five or six monsters around you that aren't really chase monsters. So like leapers will chase you, so you can kind of carry leapers with you a little bit. Um, you know, that's a good sign. This is also a decent sign, seeing this little wall piece right here, because this makes me think if I come over here, once again, this has to go down, over, up, and that's gonna leave space over here to potentially have that exit, right? So this wall, the longer this leads this way, the better it is and the better chance of it leading you there. But you still want to check for this corner because had this corner cut in some and gone up, then we could have. But, I mean, there just wasn't enough space there. So this is going to lead us to our lost city, right? You, you can very easily identify by these middle walls. They can really help you guide which direction you want to go. Thanks, course. Really help you guide. So probably drop a Nova once again pretty soon because we've got six monsters right here and there you go right you're always always looking for those minor spots you never want to be just noving one unit unless it's like a minion which is worth five units right you never want to be doing that why does he still have this crossbow it, it, it's making me angry so at this point he doesn't have a tp in his in his uh far oasis either and that's something that like that's that's curious to me. That's curious to me, right? I would have at least set a TP here. Yes, he has the waypoint for the the dry dry hills, but nothing in the far oasis. Unless I'm crazy, but I swear he got nothing there either, right? So now he's just looking for the exit first. So he's going to check this side wall. Sometimes you have to check both side walls. Honestly, you don't know which corner you're always in. This one it looks like you're in this corner. So you want to check this side wall. This is the only map, the Lost City, that can have an immediate turnoff, right? Besides, I guess, the Rocky Waste. But you're going to go in and you're going to go, er, and you're just going to make that immediate turn to the, to the valley. And it's amazing because it's like 10 seconds in the Lost City. Other times, you are going to um, 
make that turn off where you go all the way and you foot right, you take a long way in there. So that can be an issue. Is he out of TPs? I, I mean, he has to be, right? So I would come down here and Nova this. When I'm on this path as such, I would probably have dropped down to this for a quick Nova on all these guys. Pretty decent. It wouldn't take that much time and you're getting seven monsters right there. I would say that that's worth it. Here you have a boss group with leapers. You're going to have a decent amount there. You want to frost Nova the leapers first to slow them down. Otherwise, they're going to keep putting you in hit recovery because they're just non-stop jumping on you. And then static, 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 because static's not going to push them away, right? So you want to static these guys as much as you can until you know you have to be forced over to Nova. And that was a pretty clean kill on those leapers. And now we'll just keep moving forward. And once again, we've done the same th same thing now in the Lost City that we did in the Dry Hills, which is didn't go towards the stairs. So once again, we're only getting to check one exit and then having to turn around and make this big run backwards as opposed to getting to check two exits from a faster stair point, right? So he's going to come over here and try and check for a wall, gets another good boss group, gets a good zombie group here, up here as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down here, get on this side of the leapers so I can push them into this wall. This is very important, right? Um, you, you need to have a wall to or a tree or something to push these guys up against. And let's watch Slimo do this. You can see he's going to move down and try and get on the low side of this boss group because you want to push, 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 and he's got this wall as well to help him so that when you're doing some Novas, they're sticking, right? He's not getting pushed back. You can continue to Nova without having to wait for him to come forward or chase after him. So that is exactly the reason for doing that right there. Um, going to get some, some frozen armor on just because these guys are super annoying. And it looks like we're not going to have the exit down here either. Go back up. I would have so maybe gone towards that skelly group uh, and gone up that way and probably missed this waypoint from it, but that would have been fine. And then you're going to be checking for those. So now we have, we have waypoint, right? We saw that light. We have our waypoint. So now you got to go back. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm extremely curious. Please, I want to show you guys. 586 gold. This is what he's been holding this crossbow for the whole time. 586 gold. I, okay, Slimo. I, I don't know. You'll have to tell me, man. You'll have to tell me. <laughs> You'll have to tell me. So at this point, he doesn't have a TP, and so he has to now quit and come back in. Um, <sighs> that's very curious. Lovely to lion. Media, hey, thank you. Ah. Having played this game for over 10 years. I'll have to mute this. You still manage to teach me about things I've never seen before. Appreciate that, man. So, this isn't Llama with the shots. This is the world record holder. So, he can he can always just go scoreboard, you know, and do that to me if he wants. Um But this is to show that even the best players in the world still make mistakes. There's still so many things to think about, so many things to do. Everybody makes mistakes in this game, right? And we've already been able to identify multiple mistakes, right? The way he ran in the Lost City, the way he ran in the Dry Hills. Um, crossbow's not a mistake, just a weird thing. Um, not dropping a, t a TP in the Dry Hills, not dropping a TP in the Far Oasis, right? Like. All of those things are things that could have saved time there uh, that are going to end up costing him a little bit. So let's get back into this. So this point, he's going to go back. I'm sure he'll check Cold Plains again for that TP or for that Experience Shrine. And it doesn't look like he was going to save it, BDD. He is popping that immediately. Yeah, he's just going on it. So at this point, when you get an Experience Shrine, you don't go back to the Dry Hills. Unless you're, you're going to the Dry Hills Waypoint to go to the Far Oasis. Because an experienced shrine in the Dry Hills doesn't do anything, right? It's so The experience is so much lower there than you're going to find out here that you come back to the Lost City immediately and you go for this Claw Viper Temple. Or you run back towards your Far Oasis, whichever one you're going to do. Uh, and it looks like he's going to go back towards the Far Oasis 
and go for the beetles, right? So you could either push towards snakes or you can push this way. I'm surprised he's not stopping to kill a group like this. Um, I probably would. I like zombies a lot, though. Zombies are a decent experience. I guess there's three zombies. I thought it was four. There's a big difference between three and four, really, when it comes to stopping. Uh, so he'll stop for the saber cat group, which is similar experience, right? Um, he could have stopped there, especially with the experience trying. It, I think it'd be worth it. So you can see, why do you drop TPs? You TP in case. So like previously, I mean, we can literally look at, this is 3728 on the timer. I know I don't have the timer showing for you guys. This timer is 3728. And this timer is right here. We'll go back 3628 right now. So right now, if he sold all these things, got all of his potions, right? This would all be still standard. Bam, does this. Standard, standard, standard. Push, potion. 3636. 36. And it would take about eight seconds, seven, six seconds, probably six seconds even to get over there in telekinesis and be in the far oasis. That right there is what? 18 plus 28 seconds. That is 46 seconds that are lost from this and going over and coming back and having to quit and come back in. And yes, he got an experience shrine from it, which was luckily nice. But all of that was time lost that he could have just been right at this exact point, anyways, of entering back in here if he had dropped a TP here. So those are pretty precious seconds. And like I say, he did get the experience shrine. That's going to help here. He has a boss group already. You can tell by the lights. So stop and kill that. Make sure it's not cursed. Not that it really matters with those guys. Grab the staff. So at this point, I, I think this is important as well to note. How am I drinking my potions for this staff? Me, personally, I'm going chug, 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 okay? The reason I'm doing that is because I'm already low on stamina, so I have to chug one of these. These two will stack, and this is going to give me mana in this potion. This will be a bigger waste of gold, and especially when you're going to the Maggot Lair, you need to have all of the potions that you can down there. He also have two additional stamina potions already over here. So chug, 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 chug is the quick way to get the staff. Let's see how he does it. He goes for the potions next to it. Interesting choice. So that's, that is a, a personal preference, you could even say. For me, though, like I say, we're going to get to the maggot lair. Okay, we're going to get there with th that additional one and a half minutes plus the two staminas that I have over there. I'd rather chug the quickies that cost a lot less um, and then saves me more potions for within the maggot lair. And we'll see if that comes to bite him in the butt or not when he's in the maggot lair and has like one potion left, right? We'll see what happens. So you just want to drop, kill some of these things, get those beetles. That's great. He got a beetle boss group right there. So this is kind of working out for him nicely um, so far in that case. And at this point, you know, it starts to get a little bit like, do you go up or down? Well, it's hard to say. Your stairs in the middle, you should probably just stay up, check around really fast, you know, go up there, go over there, or go there, there, and down, um, just to see if you can, you know, find the hole, right? We're just looking for the maggot layer. Do a quick check up here. This is not going to be it. This piece extends up, but we have this already. This is going to be a big enough uh, lake, pond, whatever you want to call it, that it's going to block. So we, we, don't, um, we don't care right there. So this is a great turnaround, right? Not wasting any extra seconds right there. And then we're heading over here. We know we can get a little further. A, we also have Beetle Burst. Really, really, really nice, uh, this experience shrine. This, this has played out very nicely for him so far with double Beetle Boss Group. Plus, he also got a Minion Boss Group. So at this point, we don't have to go any further to the right either, really, because of this whole setup. That building is going to be enough to block off any chance that it's over there. So we're just going to head back to the stairs, go down, and then kick out over here and see what we can find. Really not too bad. Um, hate getting put into faster hit recovery or hit recovery from those beetles, like just hitting like that. 
So just checking around, checking for the maggot lair. Skill shrine right there is nice, but never going to replace an experience shrine um, in Act 2 like this, right? Jug of Stamina, keep going down, looking for the maggot lair. Um, you know, you never want to be full searching into corners. Notice how this corner is not full explored. This corner is not full explored. It's because we're seeing these little rivers or tiles, whatever it is, um, that we know aren't going to take us there. And with the maggot lair, it can be anywhere except like behind this right up. You know, it has to have a little spacing on the tile, but it can be in the middle of your maps, right? So you, you can't just follow the walls for things like the maggot lair and halls of the dead and stuff. You have to, you have to kind of explore in the middle of them. So at this point, I already go, oh crap, because I know that I want to go to the right of the way that I enter. And this is a square block. This is a tile piece, right? I mean, that whole thing. This is the way that we're coming in to the bottom left, right? So this is our path. This is our direction right there. So I want to go to the right of that direction. Assuming this is my straight, that's right, this is left. I want to go to the right. There is no right. I, I can't go right here, which means I'm either going to have to go around here, up here, and back over here, or around here, up here, and back over here. I also couldn't see anything. Sometimes if you're right here, you can see like a little nook there, and that could be like, oh, maybe that's it, right? So I have no clue where I need to go thus far. I'm just going to try and follow around and see whatever can kind of lead me in the first direction. So at this point, I already want to go up. This is the direction that I want to take, right? I'm not going to continue around because this is the direction that's getting me closest to going back to this top left direction here or right of the way I came in. Um, I really like to be 14 at least, if not 15 when I'm in the maggot lair. If you are less than that, it it's just a lot harder to kill things. So we're going to come in here and you're going to say, Mr. Llama, there, you can see there wasn't the hole there. Yes, but look at how many beetles there are. Look at that experience bar just chugging up. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So you want to grab potions here, right? Potions are extremely important in the maggot lair. We found a boss group as well. Champion worms, not a great boss group. Um, you want to frost nova them because they do a lot of damage to you. They do a lot of damage. You can see he just went into hit recovery right there. That is common for, for champion worms. They do so much damage on a melee hit. So you want to make sure that you frost nova them so they have less chances to do that. Static, get some novas. And we're just going to continue chugging this way. And at this point, once again, if I get the option to go up, I'm going up. If I get this option to go down or this way, I'm going down. I'm doing anything to try and get back towards this top left. And this is just going to be a circle here, so I can't even go that way. So grab a ring. Always looking for that faster cast rate. And just continue down in this manner. So I'm just going to kill stuff. If I see beetles like that, I'm going to, you know, take a step out of my way to kill some beetles. That's always good stuff. And it looks like, so now you might be saying, all right, <laughs> Why, you know, why don't I continue this way and try and go? Because I see this little nook. And additionally, this I know is going to be this path right here, right? This is going to come up and be this little, like, whole thing. And so I don't care to go over here anymore. I want to go down, over, up, and then this way. So this is now the new path we've decided. This is a very annoying. Oh, it's not. Wow, that's a dead end. That is a dead end. So... This right here looked like it was going to be an entrance from this way. I made the same exact mistake that Slimo just made in my mind. Um, that Or that he just made in his mind. We thought that this was indicative of this going here, down, and over in. But it's not. It's not at all. This is a dead end, actually. Um, you can tell by the way it's kind of around in both those directions. So this is actually going to be that way that's going to take us down. And then that comes in from that way. So you always really want to try and guess which way you think something's going to be entering from and the first indication that you can get of some sort of line like that or dead end that's when you're turning around right you don't always have to full explore everything now we know we have a boss group right here so that's going to be really nice and of course we want to continue this direction let's see what kind of boss group it is hey it's a beetle boss group again 
That's his third Beetle boss group in this run. Mana Burns, no fun. Uh, you got to be really careful with Mana Burns. And a lot of times you don't static Mana Burn quite as often because you need to be putting them in hit recovery. Otherwise, if you're just staticking, they're going to keep hitting you. And then the the amount of time it takes for you to go from Mana Burn to enough mana to start casting spells again is too long. So running around. And finally, we are going to find the exit to take us to this top. So he full explored this map right here. That sucks. He full explored this map. Um, that is just no fun at all. So we're going to come in here, grab this ring mail. And I actually want to see really fast. And he gets a really quick one. So once again, remember how I said when I'm going to the bottom left, I, I want to on that on that path, I want to go to the top left. I want to do that. I want to always go to the right. Yes. I want to always go to the right of the way I come in. And here he got a very good map. This is the perfectly ideal map that you want to have every single time. But you're not going to get every single time. So he is level 16. Wow. Where do you get so leveled? I guess he got those three beetle boss groups plus good beetles with the experience shrine. That helps a lot, right? Levels are a big indicator. And I actually want to go back. Let's take a look at our time, 4157. I actually want to go back to right here. So is this his 14? Yeah. Okay, so he was 13 and change coming out of Act 1. 13... And uh, that's a very good 13. He was near 14 coming out of Act 1 at 29, 40, 29, 49. That's very good. 41, 27. Wait, 41, 57. Let's go back there. Okay, come on. For real game. Come on, YouTube. Did I do too many skips? All right. We'll go. Wait, it's 4127. That's what it was. No. Whatever. 4157, maybe. Whatever it was. We're just going to go back here. Okay, so now we're, we're entering again into... Um, this level. So now we're on Magalair level three. I want to run straight across, right? As straight across as I can. So I'm always going to try and take the path that's leading me up to the top right, unless I know it's taking me to a dead end. But it still can be good. And hey, we got the chest already, so that was really easy. Sometimes you do want to go to these dead ends because a lot of times these dead ends will have a lot of beetles and stuff in them, so they can be pretty good experience areas. I don't like killing this boss very much. If I'm going to kill it, I'm going to kill it only on like a runaway but it's because it freezes you when you kill that boss so he does a quick save exit there as soon as he gets the staff reason for that is because that's going to be faster than going through the tp going back all that stuff um and he got a little lucky there as well uh remember how i talked about potions right he ended up having just enough potions but if that level two or level three was longer he would have probably run out of potions and in that case, having made that choice to not drink these and instead drink that four could have actually hurt him. So I'm going to say that that was still an error right there to not chug that row when he chugged that row of potions. Thanks, Royce. Um, so he's going to come back to here and just go here, blah, 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 identify... I probably wouldn't go to Kane at that point. I would just go straight to Lysander and do my own identification. Additionally, you know, probably just drink two potions instead of talk to Farah. That's probably going to be the faster bet. Uh, look for that to see if there's any big plus to Nova stuff. And we don't have a cube yet. That's right. We do not have a cube yet either. Because we got that experience shrine last time. So at this point... I am not going to be going to the... You have to decide, right? Do I go Lost City or do I go to the uh, Dry Hills? I'm going to the Dry Hills and I am not using... I'm not looking for a shrine. Or 
you can go look for a shrine and go to the lost city. Those are the two things that I would say you can do. It's possible he'll go look for a shrine. If he gets an experience shrine, go to the lost city. If he doesn't get one, go to the dry hills. And we can see that potentially happen right here. Let's see what he does. Doesn't get experience, doesn't get it. So now he's probably gonna go dry hills. Yes, right. If you got the experience shrine though, go to the lost city. Simple as that. Double champion bosses right there. Who cares? We don't care about those, right? Two champions are super weak, especially in the dry hills when we're level 16. You're just getting so little experience um, down here from that stuff. Really not worth it. And he's also doing smart checks where he's not running all the way to corners again because you're going to have very large um, groups. So he's still going to check down here really fast, right? Or very large tile for like the Halls of the Dead. So we know that can't be it. So a little check, didn't see it there. And going to head up here. And then just go off right. And once again, we're just looking for the Halls of the Dead. So we're going to run down the middle. Really not stopping to kill just about anything. Unless there's like seven monsters that are all nearby. So Halls of the Dead. Just going to take that immediate left turn. This is the opposite of the Maggot Lair. You always want to go left here. I don't... I mean, watch his experience, right? Watch his experience right now. Like, I will take it back slightly even to out here and put my mouse right at the start of his experience. And yeah, let me get it, like, right on. Okay. I'm just going to leave my mouse right there. Watch his experience down here for all these things killing. Oh, wait, my mouse is... Gosh dang it. Guess it... Whatever, right? It's not moving. It's not moving. It's like my level 98 sorcerer is trying to get experience. He's not even getting single ticks. I mean, you get nothing down here. You get nothing down here. He's got like one tick maybe, maybe two ticks from all these skellies. It's just not going up. It's worth so little experience, especially if you're level 60. It's just worth nothing. So this is just, you know, we're just going to run around. And once again, you want to just go as quick down to this left as possible. Here you can see he didn't see it over there. So he's going to go down over and as fast as he can. Uh, and these tile sets are also, if you see like these stairs coming down, you know you have it, right? So you can kind of know the different tile sets that have exit pieces on them. Run to the left again. Um, go on the down right here. See if we can find it. There's another piece going left. Not even stopping to kill things. Even that, really not worth a lot. I don't know if I'm even stopping there. That maybe I'm stopping to kill a little bit, but... You know, it's worth so little compared to what you're going to have later on but in Lost City, you know, stopping to kill some zombies. And you still have to use a couple of Nova shots. So really, you just want to run as much as you can here. And that would be like the only one that I would say maybe you stop and take a shot at. I mean, it's just, God, it's so worthless. Skellies are worth nothing. Zombies are worth a tiny bit. But sometimes you have to just clear them out. So here he does get a double boss group, which is nice. And this you can suddenly see, oh my god, experience. This is why we kill boss groups, right? If you just saw his experience go up right there, that's why we kill boss groups. So not too long. I mean, that first level was a little long. Other than that, it wasn't bad. He save quits again because he wants to get that experience shrine for the Lost City, right? We're going to be trying to get that, and he does get it. It's a world record run. you got to be a little lucky does get it so now we can run around here hoping to find a boss group hoping to find dark elder maybe another you can find two boss groups prior to dark elder dark elder if you get a little lucky so we'll just see so he gets first boss group really nice try and get right in the middle to get all those static hit hits and uh a little kill not too bad and it looks like he's found the exit so once again you can tell because this wall literally can't be here Unless the exit is over here. That's it. Otherwise, up, over. Right? If this was a dead end, this wall would have to be like this. 
So the fact that we see this wall coming up, no, that tells us this has to be the exit. So we're going to find the Viper. Easy as that. So very nice. Ended up being, once again, a little lucky in how, where his stairs were compared to that path he took, right? The stairs were on the right side and that was over there. So things like that still ended up working out for him nicely. But they could be done a little differently. So you want to kind of get the jump on snakes um, just due to the nature of their stun, right? When they hit you and they're like a lunge hit. Uh, so you want to get the, you want to get a little bit of that jump on them. So when you're kind of in distance, a lot of times you'll stop. And even if it's not a big number of them, right, it's still worth it just so you aren't getting stunned. Either you're hitting or you're getting stunned, basically, unless you can really get around. So here he's coming in. Just going to head this way really fast and uh, try and find it. So now we get down here. Now we have to say, how long did it take me to learn maps? The basic maps took me probably a couple of weeks to really learn. Every tile and everything like that, I mean, that took years before I really, like, studied. And, th and I kind of was a big piece of learning that as well. So, like, creating what those tile sets look like. Um, so, a lot of that wasn't like, here's here they all are, like I'm presenting to you guys, right? So, now we're, at, we're down in Claw Viper le level 2. This is one of the... Uh, thank you, Fados, for the sub, by the way. This is one of the most dangerous areas for the sorceress, in my opinion. Because you have that stupid lightning enchanted snake who does so much damage, fang skin. So first off, drop a TP. Okay? Drop a TP. Because you're going to die here sometimes. We all do. Choose your direction. If you go down bottom, you're going to catch them sometimes, and then you'll do a full drag around. If you go up top, sometimes you can get in the way. So I like to go around top. And then if I don't get him, I go around bottom, right? But you'll see right here, I'm going to kill everything pretty much that is on this path. Because it's just danger. Oh, and he manages to sneak through. So this is the benefit if you go around the top, is you can sneak right through there. And you can even see, if he had just stopped and killed those guys, instead of um, trying to run around him, it probably would have, he could probably got to the spot at the same exact time. Because... The stun length was the same as casting, right? But gets through and uh, finds the hole to squeeze through. And these zombies are really nice because they're kind of blocking, right? He has a whole barricade here to block in this group. So one, I kind of want to kill a lot of this stuff. When I get to right here, I'm probably dropping some Novas, honestly. Especially with my experience. And there you go. Yep. Going to come up here, drop Novas. You get, you want to kill all these minions, everybody but Fangskin, if you can, right? That's a secondary priority, but decent experience. So he's close, close in on 17. I like to morph these right here because sometimes, especially if you save quit, the game bugs out. You can't talk to Drognin and go to the Arcane Sanctuary or to the Harem until you morph these together. It's a bug in the game. Um... So I always just morph them just in case I forgot that to, to do that. I don't like to take it out yet, though. I like to keep it in my cube um, and then just throw my cube on the ground when I get to Tower Rush's Tome. But that's personal preference. This is just so you can have... I like to have the four more spots, right? So fill up on potions. You only really need one thawing potion or zero thawing potions for Indariel, or for Duriel. It's not going to take that much longer. Um, but you do want to get some stamina. That's a good point. So at this point, he's almost 17 going into the Arcane Sanctuary. Um, you want to have one, you can make that you can make that stealth a little early. The reason you make it early is because it gives you a little speed boost early on. You can see he's running as if he has faster run walk right now. Uh, it'll eventually bug off. But it's a little bug in the game that lets you get it for a brief period of time. So let me go back real fast. I want to explore the harem with you guys. Um, what's the only thing you're looking for at this point is you're looking for a door right here. This is the only thing that you're looking for. Do I have a door right here? If I do, I go straight through it. If I don't, I go up, over, down, and around. And you can see he doesn't have a door there, so he's going up, over, down, and around. Those are the only two things that will exist in the harem. Either a door right here or and a block there or the or block over here or whatever 
or no door here and then your door right here. That's it. This is the only piece that will change on where that door is. It's either here or here. So that's all you look for when you're going down. This point, you're just running once again, straight down to the bottom, straight down to the bottom, palace level one and two. Um, if there's a boss group, I'm stopping to kill it. If there's a good group for killing, I'll stop and kill it. That's like not skeleton archer, random dudes. Like this group right here. This is a good one to stop in Nova, right? You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six of these guys, and it takes two Novas to kill them. Not bad for uh, a little bit of experience. Not bad. I The stealth glitch is weird. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. You can see it's off now. Always want to kill this boss group, even if they're not in this room. They could just be up in the room above. So I come in here, or I'll just uh, telekinesis this to, to activate it, run up around, kill them, and then telekinesis from there to go through this spot. Always want to kill this group. It's great. It is great. So make sure you get the arcane waypoint. And now what am I doing? The first thing I'm doing is I'm recognizing that over here, I didn't see the stairs. The arcane sanctuary actually has set paths somewhat okay you have your teleport path right you're always gonna have a portal path and that is always across from a path that does not have stairs and has just straight running and then you're gonna have the path that has the zigzags right so it goes and it's like whoop, 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 whatever and that is always gonna be across the path from that ha that has stairs and the order of how those go around is always the same a lot of people don't know that right so you always have the same four paths that's not a, whatever. You always have the same four paths like that. And it's just how the rotation is on them. Okay. So I don't see this way. If the portals are, are up in the top right, you're always going to have the stairs like that to your portal. You're going to know if you have your portals over here. Sorry for hitting the mic. Okay, you're gonna know if you have your portals there. So we don't see the portals there. So what we're gonna do is check up here to see if the portals are over here. If I run into the zigzag, I'm probably turning back because I'll be able to tell very soon, I'm probably turning back and going down to this bottom area over here and the portals will be over there. Okay. And once again, wow, wow. I could not have asked for it to be better. That is, that is beautiful. I could not have asked for that to be even better than just that. Like I say, I have not watched this before because I want to see how does my mind shift compared to his mind. 100% exactly like I just said. This is going to be the zigzag. This is going to be the portals. He's going to now go up, check that, see it's the zigzag path, turn around, head down to this bottom left so he can take portals or top right so he can go on the straightaway. Either one, right? I personally like going for the portal route, a little faster, um, but you wanna go straightaway and portals are your fastest paths, zigzag and stairs are your slowest paths. So he's gonna go ahead and go to this top right. Additionally, I've heard that the top right has a slightly better chance like a couple percent better chance than any other directions to be the way. I don't know if that's true. I, I can't verify that. It's just something I've heard. Um, lots of good stuff for killing here. So this is actually a mistake on Slimo, in my opinion. Um, not farming for an experience shrine for the Arcane Sanctuary. I think farming, especially when you have two close shrines like that, I think you go farm for an experience shrine um, every time, personally. It speeds it up so much. The experience you're getting here, you want to get to the 18 as fast as you can, right? You don't want, to, if you have a fourth way arcane, if you get experience shrines for each direction and one shrine can take you through two directions of it, you can get to 18 really fast, and then it can allow you to teleport through that last direction or direction and a half. So that's something that I think is very important. Uh, Slimo agrees with me. We've talked about it. 
um, getting that experience trying because you can just see how much experience, how many monsters he's been able to kill in here, and experience trying would speed that up so much. And there's a lot of good stuff, right? He's not getting too many bad path blockers. He's getting pretty good monster density down here. So it's working out all right for him. Aren't the monsters in the arcade not worth much experience? They're worth okay experience. With an experience shrine, they're actually decent. Actually decent experience, I won't lie. Okay, it's going to save quit. Come back in. Do the little trick. Once again, this is where I would farm for a shrine, and it looks like now he does go farm for a shrine. Let's see if he like farms it, though, or just does it the one time. Okay, he's just doing it the one time. So I still think it's worth farming. He's actually going to go back and do Fire Eye, which I do like this strategy as well. Every time you reset it, you can go back in. You can kill Fire Eye. It's, it's pretty easy experience right there. Um... And you can get some good gold. So if you're low on gold, that can be a great way to get a little bit more, right? Which looks like he's a little bit low. So now he's probably going to go straight across to do the portals. Like I said, these are set directions. You know that this is going to be portals. And this is my least favorite portals direction. I prefer portals in top left, top right, or bottom right. But whatever. You can still get to telekinesis them. It still helps you move around the map decently quickly. So it's not bad. But yeah, I really, really do like having an experience shrine here. Um, because if you fourth way, it, it does help you a lot. But it's one of those things, you have to have a couple shrines to farm for it at least, right? So that's one of the difficulties. Two shrines in those positions, though, I would say were enough. Hey, Raleth, that's nice. So I'm just coming down, I'm just killing. You have to always make your decision of when you're moving forward versus when you're... Um, not in this run essentially right and you'll see the telekinesis then i'm going to telekinesis up here and it gets you through very simple and he is out of mana a step short oh that hurts so bad but that right there i think that is a great show once again another time save from an error taking the staff out of the cube early that gives him four less slots for mana potions. That would have been four mana potions right there that would have saved him the direction um, of having to come back in, go get potions again, go back, check it, and then exit and come back through. So really, there's a lot of these small things, right? There are a lot of these small things that can cause you issues. And like in the Maggot Lair, it didn't cause him issues. Here, it ended up causing him issues. So you still see, once again, this is the fastest run that we have. And there's still errors in it. There's still there's still mistakes. There's still issues. It happens, right? And the, and he's extremely fast, you know, but, like, he didn't telekinesis that portal a second, you know? Like, there's, there's always a bunch of little things like that. So at this point, let's take a look at how much experience he has. If he had an experience shrine, he would probably have 18 by now, or just about, right? If he had farmed an experience shrine, he would probably have an 18 or just about, and he probably would have pushed through a little more to kill a couple more monsters at the end there and been 18. He probably could have had teleport going into third way, in my opinion. I personally would have farmed it, um, right? for this so really good to note wouldn't it be good to equip the staff in the secondary equipment slot if it's open a lot of times that slot's not always open so he's gonna run the not crazy uh zigzag way this is the third fastest way you always want to run fastest to slowest ways right um you know so you can put it there, but a lot of times you've got something else like a shield that you're going to use for with Rao runes later or something. Or Oh, you also can't even equip it. Yeah, you need 30 strength. So it depends if you have the requirements. If you have Hisaris boots, you might do it. But other than that. Um, so yeah, you're just kind of running down, right? Killing monsters, blah, blah, blah. This is the Arcane Sanctuary. You guys know how it goes. But you can see the experience he's gaining. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad with an experience shrine down here. 
I this is this is one of those things that I kind of was like shocked at first. I used to hate it, but once I started getting experience trials in the Arcane Sanctuary, it made the Arcane Sanctuary not quite as terrible. But now he's in that position, that awkward spot where he has to go fourth way, and now he just wants to get that eighteen if he can. Get it? All right, he gets it. And that took a whole extra path. Um, to do that, right? Because he didn't farm for that shrine earlier. Whoa, he just sold 28 light res. Oof. I would have put that 28 light res on. But we've all been in that spot where we're just quick sell, quick sell, quick sell. Um, and it happens. Your early TP strat? Which one? So at least he gets to teleport through the garbage zigzag route that has all these turnarounds you gotta be very careful with mana also with an experience shrine and big groups of stuff it's still not terrible to kill some things right i mean you can still get some experience you're gonna have to get that experience anyways so i'm not killing groups of four like that you know unless it's like see it's not even that's really worth killing but you know you get a big group of seven eight guys like this yeah okay i'll do i'll do some killing on that stuff I'll do some killing on that stuff. And here, you don't have to kill the summoner. You can kill the little groups of stuff around it. Sun, you know, is straight up. These are always in the same exact spot. Teleport, getting it before arcane. Oh, yeah, sometimes we do it. It depends what you run into, honestly. What characters would you say have the same value for an experience shine in the arcane? I don't know if any other characters really do. The Sorceress does because she moves very quickly and the need for 18 is so great. No other character really needs to get to 18 like she does. Why do we need Light Res? I really like it against these. If you have beetles here or in your um, tomb. And additionally, also can be good for... Uh, yeah, Skill Shrine is good in Arcane for any class. That's a good point. But I still don't know if I'd farm a Skill Shrine. Um, so you've got these or you have... Uh, Mephisto even, right? To avoid a Mephisto one-shot um, can be helpful in Act 3. Just resistances are good. So you can see he's already 18, but he's still not avoiding beetles. Because once again, you still need to get to level 20, and this is a good place to get experience, right? This is one of the like best farm places for it. Flare Jungle is obviously amazing, but one of the best farm places. So we get in here and we're just going to try and head to the left because we know the tomb has to go to the left. We're now at this point, we know that this is going to kick us back right. Sure, it could come down and come over and then be over here. I'm probably going top up here because I want to go back and check if this is going to go any direction. Right? Always try and make the most logical decision with what information you have. And there you go. We get it right there. Put staff in. Boom. Beautiful. So even with all of that, still pretty decent um, act. You know, still pretty decent time. And here you should have enough potions. So the Duriel fight with the Sorceress. Come in, Frost Nova, static, 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 static. You can get four to five statics in, depending what, what position he comes on you before. He winds up to get a hit on you. If he hits you once, it's really not a big big deal. But you kind of want him to almost take that swing and then get out of range so he can't hit you. Um, and then Frost Nova again. Right? So, And you can use your TPs here if you want. But you can get the statics. And you just alternate between being out of range there, Frost Nova. And like I said, you want Duriel to either hit you or try to hit you. Okay? You want Duriel to hit you or, or try to hit you because he stops. And that allows you to just separate yourself from him and get distance. Otherwise, he's always in this chase and it's not good. So eventually, you just switch to Nova. Yeah, it's time to Nova. You don't need to static anymore there. He could have switched to Nova probably two or three statics earlier if he even wanted. Teleporting through here is very weird. I like to get up to this door, teleport once, teleport, teleport on the insides. Um... Otherwise, it's really difficult to teleport around here. So there's like a couple places that you can really teleport. <laughs> Thanks, Nano. <laughs> I love that. So we're going to come through. If I am any other character at this point, 
I am switching into talking to Lysander. And this is why I don't just save quit. Some people like to save quit and then go up. Um, I like to go to Kane to identify my items, come over here, get my uh, stamina potions, and then go forward to Act 3, right? Other characters, you could just go down, or sorcerers, you could save quit, go up and just go to um, Jordan and go to Act 3, but then you don't have the Kane identify. You got to identify your own items as you run up. Not a huge thing. Really depends what you want to do there. But we'll see. He's just going to run over. This run was an hour, 14 minutes, and something, something seconds. So you talk to Jaren, come in here, and then drop the TP, right? So this is your shortcut for running backwards. A lot of people think that you have to talk to him and then run all the way back through town. You can go right down there, drop the TP, come back, and head over to talk to Mishif. So like I say, at this point, you could have just waited, um, knock on to Kane, and identified before you got to Drognan. Up to you, though. That's personal preference. So he's got two round runes now. That's very nice. Fill up on potions. And we'll just get to the end here. I like to get a lot of mana potions right here, like Slimo's doing. Mana is way more important in Act 3 um, because teleport requires so much. So, so, so much. So at this point, I'm guessing he's going to Ral Ral into his helm and then drop his helm into his cube to save that to, to put in place later when he hits 19, right? And then he can head forward. And thus, we will get to the start of Act 3. Thus, we get to the start of Act 3 in this world record run, uh, which we will pick up next time. And I believe next time we'll just do 3, 4, 5. Because those, are, those three together are about the same time as Act 2 or Act 1. So we'll probably go 3, 4, and 5 next week uh, for World Record Wednesday there and just finish out this run and it'll be very good. But that's a look at Act 2 uh, and some of the things we see. So, honestly, we saw a lot of time save potentials in there, right? There were a lot of really, there were a lot of things where he could have made a little bit better quick, a little better turn, drop that TP earlier, um, really add some potential for time saves. Getting the Experience Shrine earlier in the Arcane Sanctuary, but... At the same time, we also saw some really good plays in terms of how he was looking around those maps, not going too deep in and exploring every single corner. Um, they also panned out and worked for him kind of well, and he got the good experience shrines and the right boss groups and had beetles every single time. So pretty good. It was pretty good overall, um, but those are right... I'm, this is why we analyze these things like this, because we can see where do we take off these little chunks so we can run that perfect time, right, eventually. Uh, but that is Act 2 for World Record Wednesday, the Diablo Daily. And now we'll go ahead and run some world records of our own. I'll go ahead and cut chink, the video. So thank you, everybody, for the, who showed up for the Diablo Daily or on YouTube. Woo! And now we're going to jump into some world record running ourselves. That was